St. James Park, Newcastle, Liverpool has not fully turned a corner and gotten back to its very best just yet, but this was another step firmly in the right direction. Jurgen Klopp's attack was firing, particularly in the period before Nick Pope was sent off after panicked him into an error, and while they could have controlled things better, there were ample positive signs to be taken. Goals from and were enough to secure the three points as Liverpool continued their good form, following on from the victory over earlier in the week. Liverpool player ratings, winners and losers versus Newcastle as hopes realised and three excel here are the three moments picked out from the Reds' massively important victory at St James Park that places them right back in the hunt for the top four spots. The good often this season, Liverpool has not looked like scoring a goal. Only a few weeks ago against Chelsea, they could have been playing for hours before someone found the back of the net. On this occasion, though, it was a performance that oozed quality early on with the link-up play of the starting front three really shining through against a team that simply does not concede frequently. Newcastle has only let in 15 goals in the so far this season and four have now come against Liverpool. Eddie Howe's side has only lost twice, both times against the Reds. Nunez was excellent and Gakpo played the role of very well indeed, with reinvigorated alongside them. Encouragingly, Trent Alexander-Arnold was also exceptional. Every ball that he put into the box was magnificent and he could easily have provided more assists than just the one sublime pass that was emphatically put into the net by Nunez. When returns, it will be interesting to see where the Uruguayan forward ends up playing, but for now, Nunez's best position is quite clearly off the left. With him darting inside from the flank and Alexander-Arnold finally finding his passing range on the opposite side, that exciting emerging partnership could be a real danger too and many more teams in the coming weeks. The bad there were two big negatives. The first was that Nunez was injured and went off shortly afterwards, even if he probably would have been replaced with half an hour remaining and Firmino and in reserve anyway. Klopp provided an update on Nunez post-match which, but it did not sound particularly bad. The hope will be that it is sore and painful and nothing more, but another update will follow in the coming days. The other negative was that Liverpool did not control the game fully. It is easier said than done away from home against Newcastle, even against 10 men, but the game at Anfield on Tuesday will be the big test of whether or not the Reds' midfield is capable of doing enough to propel them on a European run through the knockout phase. Just like Newcastle was a step up on, will be another steep increase in quality. The ugly s wait for a goal quietly continues. The Portugal forward had a trio of chances to score near the end, with a header that he put wide of the post the biggest of the lot. But ultimately, he could not cap off what would have been the perfect outing for Liverpool by ending a goal drought that is already in its tenth month. Hoda last scored for Liverpool last April against and has played 26 times without finding the back of the net since then, even if he has been assisting others in that period. Even with Nunez, Gakpo and Salah firing, that needs to change sooner rather than later. If Nunez misses out against, then there will be no better time to end Hoda's run without scoring. Hopefully, though, Nunez and Alexander-Arnold can further work on their promising partnership and start to flourish together at the perfect time. Best Liverpool playmaker is ready to ignite as helps send warning.